Oh, you are absolutely not going to believe. Well, actually, you are. I'm a geocacher. It is four four seventeen a.m. Uh, got a trip planned this morning. West west to Tennessee. I'm hoping to pick up uh, three new states today hopefully. Uh, Mississippi, Arkansas, and hopefully if I'm not comatose, uh, Missouri. And the thing about it is Missouri is going to be like a real crapper because the only section of Missouri that I can get to Two caches. Two, 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 two. I mean, I could get a third or fourth one, but at the expense of driving another 10 to 20 miles to do it, it kind of blows. So, Missouri by two. Okay, so, best I can do. Uh,. Probably will get the uh, Tennessee's oldest cache today with a little luck and hopefully don't run into any thunderstorms coming through Memphis. This will uh, this will set me up for my furthest cache west uh, for a new, new cache. That'll be fun. Yep, other than that, uh, going to be a good day. Oh, by the way, and yes, I'm... I'm lone wolfing it today, so not going to be any huge numbers as far as this run goes. It's just going to be like some uh, some nice cool cool caches, hopefully some quality caches, and the uh, the big uh, big milestone landmark cache for the oldest cache in Tennessee. I doubt very seriously that the Mississippi cache or Arkansas or Missouri is close enough to even take a shot at. Excuse me. Early, uh, so I am going to uh, close this down, load my car up, and get on the road because it's going to be a long drive. It's going to be a fun drive, though. I wish I'd have loaded that book on my little MP3 player. Now I could really use it, but I am taking my MP3 player, so there. On the road, yep. Welcome to Decatur. Uh, thought I should fire this up. Uh, done uh, roughly 12 caches, uh, one on the way to Huntsville, 10 or so in Madison, actually 11. 11 in Madison, and uh, between Madison and Huntsville area. This is a really cool bridge. Thought I'd like to get it on video before they tear it down. I love the old iron girder bridges. Very cool. So, don't know if I'll pick up any indicators. I need to really get some time on the road and get headed further west. I'm a little behind schedule. Well, not really too behind. I don't really want to have a schedule. So, here we go. Yep, that's the end of the road, but we can go around that way. One of the uh, little caches off the main road of 72 that I'm following today. I got lucky because I didn't need the cache information before making an attempt on this when I just happened to come in from the right direction. I didn't actually see a turnoff, so, and the turnoff that I finally took to get to where I'm at now shows up as a road on my GPS, but in fact, I think it's actually someone's private drive that just happens to connect 72 to this road. Uh, I would be so far as to guess this is basically the old 72. 
before the new one was built and traffic routed off of it. And this one has been left to go back to nature. But every so often on some of these old back roads, you find cool stuff like this old bridge. Still looks pretty sturdy, but the, uh, I think the most unique feature is the railings on this. This is, this is pretty nice. You don't see that kind of handiwork anymore. And I can't say I've seen that kind of railing on some of these old bridges before. Very unique. Uh, if I was brave, I would go over there to the train tracks, get on that one, and shoot across at this one to get a long shot. But, nah, not happening. I'll let some other uh, wild and crazy geocachers pull that off. I think I can get far enough back to get another view from this end. Step off there. Didn't see that coming. But this is what makes geocaching so much fun. Finding cool stuff like this and paying it a visit. Now, I'm going to grab a cache and get back on the road. I've still got a little ways to go, but I'm almost in Mississippi. I'll fire up again just before we, uh, before I come up on the Mississippi line. because it's a fairly large cache. There's Mississippi! Not sure what my first cache will be when I get into Mississippi yet, but probably going to be a small or a micro. You know how it goes. All right. Welcome to Mississippi. The road takes on a decidedly different texture as soon as you cross that state line. Also, note lack of shoulders. Of course, being flat does help a little bit, but you're going to change the tire in the grass. notice a sign as I was uh, once I was in Mississippi slower traffic keep to the right up above that sign they added to it state law I think I need to do that in Tennessee people don't realize that all right I'm about three or four miles from Iuka and that is probably where my first cache is going to be well, maybe not. I'm showing something now about one mile ahead. All right, too much excitement. Later down the road. Well, it's dark. Well, it's official. I have Tennessee on my map. I say Tennessee, I'm sorry. Mississippi on my map. First cache, not a bad cache. Kind of a big uh, plastic jar type thing. Smaller than an ammo can, but bigger than a micro. A little larger than a small, so I'm happy with it. Took my, my pictures with Noble, so he's happy too. Uh, okay, well, we're headed 
on more into Mississippi. Ah, okay. Uh, did the oldest tide in Tennessee. And one more after that. I did one more after that. Uh, now I'm headed to Arkansas, which is 27 miles away. It is 444. I should be able to hit me about four or five caches in Arkansas. And then I'm going to head up the highway and get my two in Missouri for that state. All right, then I'm going to come back if I got a little bit of daylight left and snag a few more caches down here in Memphis. Might go visit Graceland too long. I doubt it. All right, more in Arkansas. Train runs fast here in Memphis. And it's done. Yes, I still survive. I am now in Arkansas. Uh, state two for today, looking for a cache in Arkansas. Supposedly a nice big cache. I targeted this cache specifically because it was a big cache. Because I wanted my first cache in Arkansas to be a nice big cache. That's just the way it is. So I'm looking for it now. 40 feet away. The excitement is so thick you can cut it with a knife. Looks like they've hit it over here, out of sight. Good geo trail. Well, I'm showing still within 25 feet. I shall keep looking. Oh, another geo trail comes around this end. Huh. Well, okay. I'm showing one whole freaking feet. Okay. Well, after I've walked all the way around, I walk straight over here. I'm going to be rather disappointed if. This one is not here. Uh, I'm going to shut down the camera and commence a more thorough search because apparently we got issues. Ah, we're good. Uh, the cache was not, I think, where it was supposed to be. Managed to find it and I'm going to put it back uh, where the clue says it's supposed to be and it's actually zero coordinates so uh, we're good to go uh, there she is got to open it up get a picture with Neville at it and find a few more around this area and then head up the road before it starts getting too dark although we've had cloud cover all day which is made for a fairly nice day uh, not too awfully hot and yucky so first cache in Arkansas done I'm happy this is my happy face such a loser. Alright, well, seven more miles to my exit and then the fun begins.
First Missouri catch was a bust. So I'm headed to my secondary Missouri cache and hopefully that one will be there. No. Okay, yeah, I don't know if the other one wasn't there, but I mean it had a good hit. The person before me didn't find it, so there you go. In any case, not wasting any time, heading to the second one. I am now officially racing the sun. Sun is setting. I want to get to this one at least before it gets too dark. Then start making my way back home, where I will probably get home at about three o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna get a few caches on the way home. I'm looking to at least break 50. I mean, granted, this wasn't meant to be a power run, but I would still like to at least pull 50 out of the bag on this. At least make the trip semi worthwhile. Of course, it kind of is. If I can get this Missouri cache, it'll be five states in one day. I don't think I've done that. All right, here, more at the next one, hopefully. Yeah, it's too dark to see me. So I just talk in the shadows. Uh, the second Missouri cache <whistles> came through. The uh, sun was kind of already down past the... Uh, horizon. I had twilight to work with. I didn't even take my flashlight with me. Coordinates were pretty much spot on, but it was a small and there was a certain amount of panicking because it was in the woods. Yes, but managed to pull it out. Got a picture with my travel gnome with it and headed back to the car. And as you can see, it is now getting dark. And I am going to slowly make my way back home from here. So, five states cashed. If I could actually get back to Georgia before midnight, I would claim a six state, but I don't believe that'll happen. Other than that, back in Arkansas. And headed home. Oh, another cash update and distance report. Just left Huntsville. Um, I believe I ended with 75 caches. I know I put myself over 9,100. And a couple of caches to act as a buffer in case my number is wrong on my GPS. wall at uh, 4 o'clock. It was 24 hours for me. It's now 6.32. The sun hasn't come up yet, as you can see. But when it does, I'm going to video it. I'm going to stop at Stevens for breakfast, too. It should be open by the time I get there. Other than that, report later. Hey, guess where I am? But I'm only 71 miles from home. Oh, uh, the sunrise? Bleh. I got rain. Rain and severe overcast. So there's going to be a sunrise. We're just going to have to be above the clouds to see it. Oh, well. Can't say I didn't try. And I guess I'm just gonna make this the end of this video. So, in summary, I ran 24 hours, five states, did 75 caches, managed to get one single cache in Missouri, but It'll still light up the state. Okay. So, a very tired flight 2007. Signing off. And, wow, I hope my next video is not as boring as this one.